Address to Certain Goldfishes by Hartley Coleridge. Read for LibriVox.org by Liberty Stump, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Restless forms of living light, quivering on your lucid wings, cheating still the curious sight with a thousand shadowings, various as the tints of even, gorgeous as the hues of heaven, reflected on your native streams in flitting, flashing, billowy gleams. Harmless warriors, clad in mail of silver breastplate, golden scale, mail of nature's own bestowing, with peaceful radiance mildly glowing. Fleet are ye, as fleetest galley, or pirate rover sent from Sally. Keener than the Tartar's arrow, sport ye in your sea so narrow. Was the sun himself your sire? Were ye born of vital fire? Or of the shade of golden flowers, such as we fetch from eastern bowers, to mock this murky clime of ours? Upwards, downwards, now ye glance, weaving many a mazy dance, seeming still to grow in size when ye would elude our eyes. Pretty creatures, we might deem ye were happy as ye seem, as gay, as gamesome, and as blithe, as light, as loving, and as lithe, as gladly earnest in your play as when ye gleamed in far Cathay. And yet, since on this hapless earth there's small sincerity in mirth, and laughter oft is but an art to drown the outcry of the heart, it may be that your ceaseless gambols, your wheelings, dartings, divings, rambles, your restless roving round and round the circuit of your crystal bound, is but the task of weary pain, an endless labor, dull and vain. And while your forms are gaily shining, your little lives are inly pining. Nay, but still I fain would dream that ye are happy as ye seem. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.